My name is Nikolai and I'm going to give you a quick start on how to get started with Immersive Stream for XR and the corresponding Unreal Template project. We will have a look at all the assets, the blueprints and the logic and the level. And this will hopefully give you a quick start on how to kick off your own projects. Note that we will not be covering the GCP Stream API in this tutorial. Be sure to check our knowledge base for materials, demos, tutorials and the full documentation that shows specific use cases and features in more detail. So let's kick it off! After downloading the template zip file, unpack it and move the new folder into the Unreal Projects folder. You can also rename the folder and project file if you like. If you already have Unreal version 5.0 installed, you are good to go. If not, go back to the Epic Games Launcher and install Unreal version 5.0 from there. Now that you have your template project unpacked and ready, open it up in Unreal version 5.0. Let's have a look at our level setup in the Levels window first. As a general approach in Immersive Stream for XR, we are using a main persistent level, which is called main persistent, and that is able to load different streaming levels depending on the use case. If we have a look at the folder structure in the content browser, here you can find a few descriptive folders like blueprints, global, maps, movies, data assets and UI and so on. Let's start with the maps folder. Here you can find all the relevant levels to do your first tests. By default Unreal Engine opens the level main persistent that holds three other levels that you can see here. The level 3D background holds the background for the 3D mode and contains an HDRI backdrop and a directional light. The AR background level is used when a user is switching into the AR mode. It holds a static lighting setup with a directional light, a skylight, a shadow plane to receive shadows and a post-process volume. The content start level is the place we want to focus on for the beginning. This level gets loaded by default, together with a 3D background level, when the experience starts. Right now, you only see the Cloud Logo BP blueprint in there, in which we will have a look into in the next section. In the Blueprints folder, you can find all the relevant blueprints for Immersive Stream for XR projects to work. Most important, is the XR init blueprint, where you can change for example the default content level and much more. In the respective subfolders you can find the other blueprints, for example for the AR mode. In the UI folder you can find blueprint widgets and other elements that are user interface related. Global holds the global project data, like a material collection, the cube map, blueprints, the controller and more. Located in the Starter Assets folder, there is the Cloud Logo BP Blueprint in there. Let's have a look into that. In the viewport of this blueprint, you can see a tooltip and a mesh with a corresponding variable name to be able to access it programmatically. In the event graph, you can see that there's already a touch event handling implemented that is changing the mesh from the solid one to the transparent one and back and that's triggering the visibility of the tooltip element. The next blueprint we look into is the XR init blueprint that you can find in the blueprints folder. If you open it up you can see some logic being executed in the event graph. We are running init commands, loading blueprints and loading the initial levels. In the details window you can change basic information like the start level for example. Now let's talk about using your own assets. To get started with that, you need to import the assets to into ideally new folder in the content browser. In my case, I'm creating a new folder called custom. I go into it, then I hit the import button on the top of the content browser. Then I select my asset, I import everything and I wait until the import is finished. From there, I go into the content browser again move to the folder maps and open up the content start map 
because that's the map where your current content can be placed easily. Here I can drag the asset into the scene, I can move it around, scale it, rotate it as I need it. Previewing your project locally is very easy. To preview your project, including the system UI, you can either simulate or play the main persistent map. Congratulations on working with your first project with Immersive Stream for XR. I hope you found the video useful. You can find all the relevant information, links and more resources in the video description. I wish you a great day, see you soon and bye!